Carl, according to multiple Democratic sources, this is happening all of a sudden. Everyone said it would happen gradually and then all at once, and that's what's happening. According to my sources, President Biden has agreed to step down as a Democratic nominee. Oh, man. It will happen as early as this weekend. A speech has been drafted for him. He will continue on as president, is his intention. He also will not, I'm told, endorse Vice President Harris as his successor. He, they're hoping that he will endorse an open process in which the convention will be open to Vice President Harris and a few other candidates in Chicago to pick the, Republican, the Democratic nominee for president. The belief is that Vice President Harris is already looking at potential running mates to go to Chicago with a, t a full ticket, including uh, one possibility, Andy Bashir, the governor of Kentucky, and perhaps the governor of Pennsylvania, Governor Shapiro. Other possible candidates who are being talked about include Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, perhaps Gretchen Whitmer, and again, the vice president running. On the first ballot, the regular delegates would be allowed to vote under this agreement that's being talked about amongst the president and high-level Democrat officials. The regular delegates would vote on the first ballot. If there is no winner on the first ballot, the so-called super delegates would be allowed to vote on the subsequent ballot. This decision was reached, I'm told, all of a sudden because of the high-level pressure from Nancy Pelosi, Barack Obama, and others, and as well as the decision of many of the President uh, Biden's top aides that there was no path forward for him, that he would not be able to win this election, win the general election. And therefore, wow. he's stepping aside again as early as this weekend. So, Mark, you know, what are the political ramifications for a party that based much of their platform on diversity, equity and inclusion and they're passing right over Kamala Harris and he's not going to be endorsing her, according to your sources? Now, as, according to my sources, he will say very nice things about her. They do not want uh, what some of my sources have been calling a Kamala coronation, that the problem in part that they found themselves in was that President Biden was not seriously challenged for the nomination. I'm told by some of her people, I don't know that the vice president thinks this, but some of her people believe she will win this, that she'll choose a strong running mate, that she does have the support of many of the delegates who are Biden-Harris delegates, and that she can win this basically on her own. And at least yeah. one of her allies said to me, this is better, better to not be anointed by Joe Biden, better to show independence, better to show with a strong ticket the capacity to win the nomination on her own. Well, Mark, that said, though, I mean, you're very pro, uh, familiar with campaign finance laws. He has, you know, 200 and 300 million in, in his war chest right now. I believe, in my understanding, is Kamala would be the only one who could absorb that and continue on the campaign. How's that going to work when, when all their, their big pocket donors have already pushed for that? Well, there's all sorts of money, right? There's super PAC money. There's low dollars. The belief is that a new ticket will inject excitement into the party. And that both low dollar donors and the big donors who in, uh, in the last few days have sent a strong message to President Biden that they will not support his being the Democratic nominee. So there's a strong belief that with a new ticket that they can raise money from the big dollar donors who can give and bundle hard dollars, can give super PAC money, as right. well as the small dollar do donations that they will come in to the, whatever the new ticket is, whether it's the vice president or not. If it is the vice president, most campaign finance experts believe she does get to keep the Biden-Harris. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, as y'all heard it right there, live and direct from the Newsmax, as they done got with their sources, and they said that this nigga Joe Biden is stepping down in his presidential campaign. A lot of y'all told me I didn't know what I was talking about on Sunday after the Donald Trump shooting, when I said that right there for sure secured the bag in the situation for Donald Trump to win this election against Joe Biden. Y'all was like, oh man, you don't know what you're talking about. That don't mean nothing. Well, look at here, my boy. You can see this from a mile away, any day, any which way. And I told y'all before, 2024, all capital C's in full on effect. Controversy, chaos, conflict, confusion, and confrontation going to be a part of the conversation when you trying to rule the nation like Donald Trump is right now. Because he had it sold up, rolled up from the jump even before that. After that debate, plus the way that Donald Trump been moving with advertising, marketing, 
capitalizing on everything going on in the world. He in the streets with it. He out here touching the people, shaking hands. He pulled up out here in Ace Time. I ain't see Biden in them pull up unless I just missed it myself and I didn't know about it. But the Trump one was visible because I was going to capture both campaigns and both situations to get all their policies, what their plans was for the future. I ain't see Biden come to Ace Time. Maybe he did. I don't know. Trump was out here touching the people, interacting, city to city, state to state, going and using them resources, networking, any type of uh, political, political type of campaign he wanted to do from the streets to the internet to everything going on, he had it on lock. And you hear what they talking about now, they ain't even finna push for Kamala Harris. They talking about we don't want this to be a Kamala coordination. When I be speaking about this stuff, bro, I keep telling y'all, the marketing structure the marketing structure the marketing structure the marketing structure the marketing plan is how you get things done putting something in people face even if you ain't the best at it even if you don't got all the answers even if you don't know what you're talking about let's, let's keep it all the way a thousand both of these niggas old bro donald trump old biden old biden just to seem like he a little bit more out of it but trump the way he market the way he promote Dog then got shot, got indicted by the feds, arrested in Georgia all in one year. But everything that went wrong, he was thinking in the moment, how do I capitalize on this and make it business? How do I make the people get behind me on it? You seen Sunday when it went down. When he got shot, he instantly was ready for it. Let me put my fist up in the air and we gonna market this even more. We gonna release the shoes when he got arrested. They did the shirt. Bro, it is what it is, dog. And neither one of them have earned my vote, keeping it all the way a thousand. I'm not voting for Trump or Biden or really anybody in this point because how y'all gonna win? Y'all gonna throw somebody in on the last moment? Y'all to put y'all whole campaign on the Democratic side behind Biden? The election ain't but a few months away. How y'all gonna catch up and beat Trump in this thing, bro? It is what it is. That right there, what people can see, what people can hear, it makes people be more comfortable with the actual presentation of what you're saying. Even if they don't agree with it, the energy that you give off at times to make people think, man, I got to vote for him, bro. I might not agree with him, but he acted like he going to lead something. Y'all tell me what y'all think, bro. It is what it is. Biden is withdrawing. That was right there on Newsmax. They got the type of sources behind the scenes. They know what's going on. I called this Sunday. We had already been called it. They got to get in them streets on their Democratic side, bro. Y'all better get to touching the people. No days off, seven days a week. I don't take days off. We grind every day. Y'all better get up and get active, bro. I'm talking about 10-hour shifts in these streets, touching these people, real campaigning and not just pandering, dog. Real campaigning, real marketing, real actual blueprint and stage that y'all want to just get out there. Without a plan, you're going to fail every time, bro. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all at 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.